How's it going guys, Huxthor here, and welcome to Life in Bunker, a underground base building survival game that kind of reminds me of Dungeon Keeper mixed with maybe Planet Base? Now the game itself looks extremely interesting, so of course I wanted to give it a shot, play it, and see what it had to offer. So anyway, I've just got into the game, and I've already went through the tutorial once, but I don't really remember what it actually had to say or anything, so I don't quite know what I'm doing. But it pops up right here, right off the back, as soon as you start playing. Congratulations, you have just been elected as our new warden. So that is great, right? We get to take control of this nice little bunker here. Um, and from what I can tell, this is randomly generated every time you play, so that adds to the replayability of this game. You know, every time you play, your bunker's gonna be different, your map's gonna be different. Who doesn't like random, right? It's it's always different. It makes it for a unique experience every time. So, we've got Q and E to rotate the camera. We have F and G to zoom in and out. We have Z and X to change the camera angle um, and time. Okay, so... Oh, so we can speed up the time, we can pause the time, that's sweet, awesome. And main utilities, so we have water grids, power grids, um, of course, you know, you need water for systems that require water, you need power for anything that requires power, and you have to lay, you know, the water pipes and, the, and the, of course the wiring and all that stuff, so anyway, next, oxygen, which is, you know, pretty self-explanatory. We have 100% oxygen up here. People require oxygen to survive. Next, every warden must remember that a bunker can grow not only wide, but deep as well. So we can actually go up and down as well as side to side when building our bunker. But we have to use something called a lift, which is, I guess, you know, an elevator. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. All right, so a warden must always have all the information at hand. For quick access to the bunker statistics, press the button, bunker stats, or the tab button. Sweet, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so cool, here we are. We have a list of all of our people, and we have different job descriptions for each of them. Now, some of them can do, um, you know, multiple different jobs, obviously, but some of them are a little bit specialized like you'll see these two right here are actually capable of being scientists and they're the only two that we have that are capable of being scientists and you will have to forgive that motorcycle that just went by if you heard that um, and then we've got other ones that are capable of being farmers cooks engineers janitors and of course our worker now it does look like janitor and workers the most common so let's go ahead and select a few workers here um, yeah, you can be a worker, you can be a worker, and let's see, we can make you, let's make you a cook, you an engineer, you a scientist, and you a scientist. There we go. So is everyone, no, there we go. Now we have a janitor as well, and I guess we can go ahead and pick a farmer here, right? Because we will need a farmer. There we go. Everything looks good. So we do have random events that occur as well, such as earthquakes, stuff like that. Um, items breaking that you have to fix, and that's pretty much what your engineers do. While, of course, your workers do all the building and, and you know, just, just the back breaking work, but pretty much they're, you know, your go-to guys. And, you know, of course, farmer, cook, scientist, it's all pretty self-explanatory. So as we start out, we'll see that we have a nice little bunker here, completely outfitted with everything we need to survive, including a water pump, a incubator, which is actually how you make new people in this game. You, uh, you don't do it the old fashioned way. You use an incubator to actually grow test tube babies. It's amazing. Let the science do its work, guys. Don't, don't argue with it, just go with it. So we've also got some storage containers. We've got some air purifiers, a waste container, as well as a fridge. All right, so apparently, if you click on the entrance here, it has a nice little tooltip that tells you the uh, main entrance will be sealed for 50 cycles, which is 500 years if you look right over here, and it's currently year zero, cycle zero, and we have to survive for 50 cycles, or 500 years. That is amazing. So we also have a pollution meter down here that shows us just how polluted the outside is. Uh, apparently, a comment hit the earth and the atmosphere became highly toxic and unsuitable for life, hence why we're living in a bunker. So to get started, I'm thinking we should probably go ahead and 
knock out maybe the wall back here. I'm thinking maybe we should knock out a wall back here because I, I do believe we're right on the edge of the map. I don't think we can actually expand this way any further. At least the camera won't let me go over there, so I'm assuming we're at the edge of the map. What about up here? Yeah, see, like, we're right in the corner of the map, actually. Looks like the only way we can really go is this way and down. So, um, what I'm thinking is let's go ahead and let's, yeah, let's, let's destroy some stuff over here, guys. I hate to do it, but, like, I'm pretty sure we have no choice at this point. Let's just destroy these three walls confirm and our workers will actually go to work doing all that nitty-gritty stuff that uh, is going to allow us to open up our base here now let's go ahead and click next um a resources main menu of course um i'm pretty much as a learn as i play kind of person i mean i could sit here and read this all day long guys but the truth is i really won't do that great you know what i mean like i won't remember um okay so we need to actually conceive three babies let's go ahead and do that and in order to do that, you're just going to click on these little circle things here, which, um, yeah, I, I don't even want to, like, I don't even want to think about what that actually is, but it, it kind of reminds me of, like, I guess, um, insemi insemination, if I even said that right, you know, yeah, so, let's see, the Bunker Warden is also in charge of distributing jobs, alright, so we've already taken care of that, uh, destruction of walls and undergrounds, we've got that going, so... Yeah, we've already we've already done that man oh floors all right so cool let's go ahead and throw some floors down now apparently specific type of floors for instance many reactors or refinery can only be built on concrete so we have to keep that in mind when we're planning out our rooms as we build them you know what are these rooms going to do what do we actually need to build them out of at least we'll try to do that so we've got this opened up down here and i'm thinking for the time being Let's go ahead and knock out this little chunk of dirt here and just kind of see what this is going to get us. It kind of looks like maybe there's a cavern here. I do believe there might be a cavern over in this little area because that is something you can come across. Um, as well as, um, like we were talking about earlier, you've got different levels. So apparently we can go all the way down to level four and this is the small map. There's actually two different maps. There's the large map and the small map. So I'm assuming the small map only has four levels while the large map has probably got more i mean i'm just assuming here but the fact that we can build up and down side to side with our bunker that that's just amazing all right so it looks like these guys got this all cleared away let's go ahead and expand this just a little bit more here we want to make a nice little room over here and in order to do that we're going to need this to kind of be um symmetrical i guess you could say you know we want it to look decent we don't want it to look all weird now, do we need to get rid of this lamp here? Is that going to be in the way? Because I know we're probably going to need to build a door, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and put a door right there. Perfect. So this door is actually going to protect us from enemies known as mole men. As you dig and explore through the underground, you will come across these guys and they will actually burrow up out of nowhere and attack you. So in order to protect yourself, you are going to need to build these doors in order to, uh, you know, keep them from getting in the bunker, at least until you get some flooring down and kind of get this all situated. Now, at the same time, we have to be careful because of earthquakes um, can actually, you know, happen at any time, causing, you know, damage to our bunker or even causing cave-ins. So, you know, that's something else we have to kind of keep an eye out for. Now, at this point, we do need to go ahead and build some floors. So, let's see, what do we have in here? What kind of floors? Concrete? Yeah, let's go ahead and just build concrete floors. Oh yeah, that's pretty sweet. I like this. I wish there was a way to just like mass fill though, like a drag and drop kind of, you know, just spread it out and drop all these little, little blocks here in a square. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And at the same time, let's widen this out just a little bit more. Whoops, we don't want those. Let's go here. And what I'm doing now basically is making room for the wall. Um, you know, and we'll probably put in another door so we can keep expanding in whatever direction we want. Um, obviously, oh no, we're all the way at the bottom. Oh, so the map is actually really small. We can, we can only build in this little bitty area here. I mean, of course we can go up and down too, but um, I guess when you select a small map, it's actually a really small map. Alright, well that's good to know. I guess next time I play I'll just have to do it on a big map. 
Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get these destroyed and we'll get some walls built here and just try to make this somewhat of a, um, a new little new little room that we can do something with. Probably put some beds in here, maybe put a garden in here because we are, let's see, uh, we do depend on food and of course, you know, different types of resources for everything that we do. So I don't want to take a chance and wind up running out of food or anything like that. Um, we've already took care of floors. We already took care of walls. Um, building beds. There it is. We need to build six beds. I'm guessing that's what we can do with this room. Now, before we do that, let's go ahead and build some walls here. Let's see. Um, yeah, walls. I'm sorry. I didn't click it. And there we go. Okay, so we've got our first walls. Let's just go ahead and get these built. Once these are built, we, of course, will start building beds. Um, let's see, where are the beds? They're under facilities, storages, residential. There we go. Okay, so bunk beds are not researched, so we can't actually learn these. Can we research them, though? Oh, apparently it's going to take some points over here, which we do not have to research. So let's, let's go ahead and just put these. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Stop it. Stop what you're doing. Cancel. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there we go. So I want to switch these around and I want to do them. There we go. Just like, just like that. Just like that. A nice little um, bunk room, I guess you could say, you know, just a place for people to sleep. Now there's our six beds. We're going to let these guys do what they're doing. And let's go ahead and check on our test tube babies. We are at 63%. Amazing. Now, if I'm not mistaken, once these little guys are born or created, they're, you know, in fact, going to be small children. And I don't exactly know what purpose they're going to have, you know, other than, of course, growing up and later using them in, um, you know, further building up our population. Uh, but as children, I don't know if they have a purpose or anything like that. Okay, so I, I really hope that you, as well as I, do not like the smell of sweat and feces. Um, oh, so we're going to need two toilets and two showers. Okay, simple enough. We can handle that. Let's see. Um, Life support. No, we don't need life support. Residential. Shower pod and toilets. Okay, so here we go. Um... Wow, where, where do we want to put these? Uh-oh, guys, I don't know where to put this stuff. We're running out of room. And we we actually can't build over here either because of this certain type of rock. We actually need a certain research before we can destroy that. So we can't even go that direction. We obviously can't go this direction. We can't go up. Um, it looks like we may have to tear down this wall here and just expand it out. Now, I hate to do this because we just built this, but I feel like we don't really... Um, whoops, no, not those, not those. There we go. We'll just get rid of those walls there. Now, what do we do about the beds? I mean, cause we've already got the beds built. Can we destroy the beds? This is, um, hmm, this is one of those questions. I don't know, but what we're going to do is we're going to build this out just like that. We'll make a nice little shower and bathroom area over here. Um, yeah, there you go, guys. Go ahead and knock yourself out. Now, what do we do about the beds here? Can we... What is this? Oh, okay. So this is how you get rid of items. You just click on them in dis... Uh, what is that? Disassembling. I almost thought that said dismantling. Or does it? Dis... Mem I, don't, I don't even know, guys. I'm just going to move on. So what is this? Materials. Ooh. Materials required for construction. So is this what we got back from... Who's picking the materials up? Is it this person? Slagging. What is her profession? She's a janitor, so she's just going around cleaning up stuff. She wasn't even picking those up. Or at least, I don't think she was. I am not completely sure. Like, like I said, guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, uh, you know, just having fun, playing a game. But yeah, let's go ahead and knock these walls out just a little bit more. And while they're doing that, oops, something has just broken down. If you didn't forget to assign an engineer, he will quickly deal with this situation, or deal with it. Yeah, we have an engineer, so we're okay. Um, let's go ahead and expand our walls, or our floors out. There we go, just like that. Just like that, that's gonna be beautiful. And now, once they get done, we can go ahead and put some more walls here. Let's see, let's go to the walls, and we'll just start right here. 
just like that. Build some walls down this way and just kind of wait for them. Ooh, small earthquake can cause a landfall on empty tiles. Until janitors clean the debris, you cannot build on these. So that's what I was talking about earlier. Now, luckily, we had most of this did we had most of this floored, and when you have it floored, you obviously have it roofed. So we didn't have to worry about it this time around. Nothing bad actually happened. Oh, look at this, guys! We have a little kid. There's a child here. This is amazing. So we can look at their health. They're healthy. We can look at all these other stats now. Fortunately, unfortunately, we cannot assign them any duties. So they're probably worthless until they actually grow up. And I hate to say that because this, whoa, uh oh, oh no, guys, we're, we're under attack by something. What, was that, that's one of those momian. Ooh, that is crazy. Okay, so that just happened out of nowhere. Let's go ahead and get these walls built. Get these walls built, buddy. There we go. So, what about this person out here? This dude, you need to get back inside. No, no, don't don't go in there. Where are you going? I don't know. I don't know what he's doing, but it's so scary. I'm afraid he's going to die in there. So, who is that? Our janitor? Hmm, maybe if we knock out three of these, let's go ahead and do this. And I, I keep going back and forth here. I feel like a flip-flop because I have no idea what I'm doing. But we will need a door here. And, um, yeah, let's let's go ahead and clear these out right here. Just like that. Let's, let's get rid of those. And we'll put a door just right here. So at least we have a way to get back and forth between these different rooms here. Um, obviously... We're at the end, of, you know, at the end of the map, so the only way we can build is just over this direction, and we've got quite a few problems as far as like, you know, all this stuff up against this wall. So I don't really want to move this stuff around, and since we don't have the uh, the required research to knock out this dirt, oh, when the automatic door loses power or gets broken, they must be manually operated. Oh, so we need power. Okay. Let's go ahead and get on that as soon as we get the floor done. There we go. Um, yeah, go ahead and get that done, guys. So, what do we? Let's see. How do we? How do we do this? Can we just close door, open door? Okay. Now, let's look at our power. This is where the power actually goes. We need to keep running the power. How do we how do we run power? Let's just look here. Miscellaneous, that's a vertical lamp, that's a floor lamp. Production. Here we go. See mini reactor, power switchboard, resting zones. So wait, how do we how do we keep how do we keep the um the power and energy and stuff like that going? Like seriously. Life support, farming, production. So, yeah, I don't actually see where we need to do this. Because, like, here's the power thing, right? We're looking at where the power is. Now, I need to keep this going. Um, obviously, I need to connect it to this door over here. But I don't see where I, where I can click on this and actually do that. Um, oh, here it is, guys. Okay, so power cable. Let's go ahead and run this just like that. I think that's gonna work. I think that's gonna work. We'll have to play with it and just kind of learn it before we uh, quite fully understand what it, you know, how to do this. But I think that's gonna work. We'll give these guys a chance to build it. We'll see if the light here turns green. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and build the shower pods. We're, we're gonna need these. We need two of those. And we're also gonna need the toilets. So. There we go, just like that. Oh, you do need to face them a certain direction. Hopefully, hopefully we did the showers correctly. Um, oh, and the door did turn green, so apparently we did hook the power up correctly as well. So that's amazing. All right, everything is going good. Nothing catastrophic quite yet, but we do need to go ahead and build some more beds here. Uh, well done, the toilet cabins and the shower pods have been built. However, the resident residents cannot use them yet because they require water. So we're gonna have to go ahead and let's see, let's put a bed there, let's put a bed there, a bed here, and a bed there, just like that. And we'll run some water at the same time, power water. Now, where do we need to run the water from? Do we have to go 
from here, like this? Let's just see. I'm hoping that we're doing this correctly. I actually have no idea, guys. Whoops, no, not there, not there. Just, just like that. Let's see if that works. So let's go ahead and approve that. Hopefully this will fix our little shower and toilet problem. Did we just, oh, we killed another mole man, it looks like. So let's go ahead and speed up the time here at, at the, dear warden, in order to replenish the supplies of the bu building materials, you need to start mining ore. S build a mining machine on a ore deposit. Okay, so we can handle that. Now let's go ahead and just push play here. Now, how are we doing with the water? It looks like everything is hooked up and good to go. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Until next time, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for watching. Take care.